Hello, I'm Duncan here. Hello, everyone. So today's video is done somewhere other than I usually do. So uh, if something's different, uh, sound, picture quality, whatever, that's why. So uh, please bear with me. I couldn't do anything else. I'm preparing my daughter's 16-year-old birthday, and that's why I can't do it at home. So uh, you will have to do with this sound. I think the sound might be a little hollow or a little... Uh, yeah, but we're moving away from the island uh, whiskeys and we're moving over to the lowlands. And um, today we have the Glen Kinchy. I think that's how you say it. Um, it's a 12 year old single malt from, as I said, the lowlands and it's 43 ABV. It costs around 300 Danish crowns for 70 centiliters, so a reasonably priced whiskey. Um, the Glen Kinchy is one of very few uh, distilleries that's left in that region. And um, yeah, so it's going to be exciting to taste this also because I very rarely drink Lowland whiskey. So um, yeah, I'm really, really looking forward to it. Um, there's no sponsored content in this video, uh, and as always, everything on this channel is just my opinion. So, uh, if you think something else, then that is just fine. And I've been researching a little bit about this distillery in the lowlands. Um, I couldn't really, f f I must admit, I didn't spend that much time doing it. So, I didn't really find a lot about the the distillery other than... It was one of the few that's left, and um, but about the lowlands, it's um, oh yeah, I can't say that it's on a list of sink, uh, seven or six. It was six, six uh, special single malt uh, classics. Uh, somebody made a list of six important single malt, and this one was on it, um, just because it really captures what whiskey in the lowlands are about. And um, one of the things is that it is, they're mild and easy to drink. So we're going to see if that's, if I think that's true also. So yeah, but yeah, that's it. That's it. Let's, uh, let's get this into the glass and start what it's all about. So it's been matured for 12 years but I couldn't find it didn't say in what kind of casks for the aromas that I'm getting right now I'm gonna assume that there was at least some sherry cask but I might be wrong there's definitely fruit and sherry I'm getting sherry uh, some kind of perfume, flowers, I think. A little bit of vanilla and some oak. Maybe also some honey, but fruit, perfume from uh, flowers. Sometimes it's flowers is perfumey. Uh, you know, I hope you know what I mean. And that's what this is. But not too much, does it? Just a hint. And then oak. Quite a lot of oak, actually. So it might just be... It's probably a mixture of clean oak casks and ex-sherry cask. It's been in, I guess. Cheers. It does have some sharpness, uh, quite a lot actually, um, especially because this, I thought it would be mild and it's not. The finish is shallow and over fast. It's, there's still some buttery and some honey in the finish, but it doesn't well, maybe it does, because it's still there. 
So uh, I was going to say it doesn't linger, but there's still a good amount of uh, whiskey taste. So I'm also getting a little bit of spice, black pepper. Yeah. So the palate is um, it's a little bit sharp and it has vanilla and uh, and oak. And the finish is, uh, at first it seems like it's going to be over fast, but then it, it lingers and there's oak and honey and flowers in there. So, yeah, not bad, but not my favorite either. It has a weird nose to it. Like I said before, um, oakiness in the finish, um, very smooth, easy finish, but the palette is a little short, a little bit, only a little, not too much. It wasn't as much the second time as it was the first time, but it's there. So, um, I think I'll put this at six. Yeah, so Glenn Kinchy, 12-year-old single malt, is a six for me. Um, I hope you like this video. I do apologize for the probably weird sound and weird quality picture. And also, just everything's a little bit different, but that's all I could do. So uh, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you don't, give it a thumbs down. And um, please comment, any comment. I will respond to all comments, questions, and ideas. So, and uh, subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. That would really mean a lot to me. And as always, please check out my Instagram account, don't got an underscore. Check out the pictures and small uh, video clips there. Give me a follow there also if you like what you see. That would really mean a lot to me. So, thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye.